Hello, welcome to LNC and Knowledge, lyrics, music channel of spiritual insight and wisdom that I will share to you so you can take along your spiritual journey. I hope you're having a good day, good night, wherever you're at, and whenever you see this, make sure that you're prayed up and in that light of Jesus, okay? Okay, so today I got that clear download and message that you are being initiated by the ascended masters okay there is some ascended masters that has been watching you grow spiritually physically mentally they love your character they love the way you help and guide people so now they are raising you up again okay i say again because you've already been rising right you've already been ascending but now the ascended masters this could be um Oh my god it's like it can be literally people these ascended masters you don't know them at all right but they know you they know your soul right and this is the perfect time to ignite your path right to activate you you are going through a activation on every level okay they're saying thank god right now because <laughs> it's like i'm hearing the ascended masters had a meeting right a spiritual meeting a meeting in the spirit about the collective of spirits on this realm right they went state to state city to city they've tested these people they tested these spirits right because when you have crossed over or even i'm hearing this is like a pass on loved one that has like put you in they recommended you right to these ascended masters you have been recommended from your passed on loved ones i'm hearing a great grandmother or a grandmother or a grandfather or a uncle in specific has truly recommended you to play a certain role in this life right now right so like i said thank god give god the thanks give source the thanks thank your ancestors thank your passed on loved ones for giving you this position right god says you have high protection over your journey your life and your loved ones god says really it's time to organize right make sure that you're everywhere you're at where you go it's a clean clear space right the ancestors and ascended masters like to work with us in clear organized spaces right so make sure every day your room is clean clear out the dirt sweeping is most is highly recommended i'm hearing sweep 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 or vacuum 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 you need to be vacuuming at least two times a week or sweeping at least three times a week okay i understand you have you're about to be put in a higher position so with that being said you're not going to be working at where you're at right now you're either going to be work owning where you're working at right you're going to own something like the wisdom that you have took from this um job you're going to be taking that knowledge and information to build your own oh man that word just slipped out of my head oh my god your own empire your own empire you are building a empire from the ground up is what i'm hearing and you are not going to be working for the government if you're working for the government right now <laughs> they're saying no it's 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 time for you to work for yourself it's time for you to have employers right employees it's time for you to have your own business if you don't have one already it's time to get an llc it's time to learn um, I'm hearing them tell you to, I just seen 414, but I'm hearing them tell you to uh, study um, information with business like YouTube. I call it YouTube University. Hey, they got everything on here. Business information. You don't have to go to college to learn business and the ways around business. It's about, you know, business is truly about intuition and gut feeling and instinct to make the right decision at the right time for its benefit and um bring in that abundance of money and customers so i'm hearing you need to go into studying research on your own um what career path are you focusing on at this moment 
um, if you're working a job that has nothing to do with your purpose and path, it's truly um, not going to benefit you within the next year. You have to take that leap, that faith. They're going to carry you. If you take that leap and that faith to change jobs, move homes, they're going to lead the way. They're going to open doors for you. But if your mind is making you scared to take action because now God's giving me this information of Taraji P. Henson, maybe you're an actor or you want to be an actor, but with her story, she moved to Las Vegas. She moved somewhere with her kid with only $700. 700 you guys could have 500 you guys could have 100 it don't matter they're not looking at how much money you got your money doesn't equate to the position that you have in this life and in the spiritual realm okay so please they're telling you please don't worry about the money this is material okay now God's pointing me towards, he's pointing my mind towards the um, Joseph and how, was it Joseph or was it David? Now I'm getting confused a little bit. It's just a little slight confusion of the names, but I know the story. Uh, I believe it's Joseph. But yeah, so they had 12 brothers, right? And that one brother, Joseph or David, whatever his name is, <laughs> I, I think it's David. Bro, I'm really just, just don't worry about the name, okay? <laughs> That's what they're telling me. Oh my God, just don't worry about the name. But the story, he was a shepherd, right? And people, his brothers didn't think he was strong or powerful. They didn't think, they didn't see that in him, right? But God seen something in him and it wasn't what he had, right? It wasn't the, the material things that he had. It was the spirit. It was the body that he had that God wanted to use, right? So God wants to use your body. I don't know why I'm, I'm just in this laughing energy because it's just like, oh my God. But um, yes, with you being initiated, right? And being <laughs> initiated specifically by the ascended masters, your mind and your body and your actions and your spirit will align with the planets and the galaxies, okay? You are healing every second of the day. You are going through supernatural healing because they want you to be at a be at a place, right? In this life, at a specific time and date, right? So now they have to accelerate the healing. They have to completely align your frequency, your aura and frequency to the frequency and alignment of the universe, the multi-dimensional universe. You are about to align like you are a planet, right? When you hear the um, certain degrees when it shifts to retrograde and everything, you're going to be aligning to that. Like, that's the best alignment for me. I know people want to be in a certain alignment in their lifestyle, right? Or they're trying to um, live the same life as somebody else. But guess what? Their frequency is not the same as yours. And their alignment isn't the same as yours, right? Ooh, it's like you're I can okay this is an example God's giving me he's showing me um people when you drive your car right you're aligning your frequency to the other frequencies of the car other cars that are around you right and when it gets out of alignment boom crash right that means somebody was out of alignment and that's why you are uh sub so I don't want to say sub so but you're just you make yourself vulnerable to the um, attacks of the devil, right? And car crashes are not of God. It is of the devil. And it's when you get out of frequency, you get out of alignment that causes you to go in car crashes, right? And it causes you to be at the wrong place at the wrong time, right? So God is making sure that you are aligned so you will be at the right place at the right time every single day. Now think about this. Put it in deeper perspective. You driving in your car or you riding in the car with somebody, right? And your spirit guides, your spiritual team are with you in spirit. They literally 
make you turn left. They make you go to the left lane. They make you make a right. You think that you're doing this, but it's really them guiding you. The Ascended Masters has been guiding you to this message right here, right now. And you had to be where you're at right now, where you're listening to me. You had to be right here for you to get this message. You couldn't be anywhere else, but you're here. And that's how you know you're perfectly aligned, right? Your purpose is always going to be perfectly aligned. It's always going to be at the right time now because you have been initiated. You have been activated. You have been accelerated, okay? So with uh, this card that we're going to pull out now, spells and alchemy. So you have the power. Your voice is very powerful and your actions towards your manifestation skills and your spells are very powerful. They're asking you to light candles, bring candles into your home. Um, make sure that you put them at the right place. Don't have them near fire. Flame. I said don't have them near fire. Don't have them near things that you know are going to catch fire. Um, be very mindful and conscious of how you light these candles. You know how people light candles just for the house to smell good? That's what it is. God wants you to light candles to pray over them. He's specifically showing me a Jesus candle and you taking the wrapper off of the Jesus candle, right? It's not saying, oh, we don't believe in Jesus. Or, no, it's not even about that. It's about God. Jesus already has his energy. They, once they put his picture, you know, around them tall candles that are like one dollar. God needs you to get seven of them. <sighs> and start it on a Sunday. And light the candle until it burns out, right? And he needs you, once that candle burns out, he needs you to light another one. Don't burn it out. Put it near something, a ground where there's no, it won't be disturbed. It won't be, and those are actually the safest ones. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. Um, the candles that are just tall, full of glass, the fire's inside. It's not like outside, like, um, what candle do I have? Like this. This thing, I can light it, and it actually doesn't light because I messed it up. <laughs> but I could light this, and I wouldn't be able to put it in every anywhere because, like, I have to be very mindful because it's open, you know. But when it has that glass over it, it's inside. So if it falls, it won't burn the house down or anything. And the liquid in the um candle will actually take out the fire, you know. So that's why God's telling me for you guys to get those tall candles or... If it doesn't have, um, they're just white tall candles that doesn't have Jesus on it, that's cool too. But it's the energy of Jesus on that candle that um, protects it. Jesus is the highest protection. He he watches over everything, including the ascended masters, right? So that's why I use that. But I want you to take the wrapper off of the candle and then get um, like an index card, right? Get some tape. Put your information on it. I am activating her. Anything with, um, I connect with my ascended masters, right? I align myself to the planet's frequency. You write it down right here. Put some tape on each side. Wrap it around the candle. And then um, just let it burn, you know? And do that seven times. That's what I'm hearing. Do it seven times. And it, the candle should only cost you about $12 at the most. But it's usually a dollar fifty or something like that. So um, at Myers or at Family Dollar or Kroger or um, wherever you're at, they got candles, okay? Or you can go to a spiritual store, but they got it cheaper at places that aren't at the spiritual store. But um, yeah, so that's what I'm hearing. You have the power. You have power to cast spells, okay? You are your bloodline. Your history is with spell casting, and it's not negative. This is light magic. We are working with light, not the dark. Okay, I'm putting that out in the open. But yes, you can use your powers, and candles will really help ignite it for you. Okay, um, yeah, that's what I'm hearing with this card. <clears throat> your prayers, smoke, and prayers. Maybe you like to smoke weed. Um, or you like being around fire or um, smoke and prayers. I'm hearing write your prayers down. This is what I need to do. I've been doing it. I haven't been doing it for like over a month. It's so crazy how like time, like you could be aligned, right? And then and I'm, I feel truly aligned, but I know that I still need to 
use it like what I'm about to tell you which is like hold on let me see let me get uh let me get one of these cards again so time to detox so say I wanted to detox myself right I wanted to detox my spirit my mind body and soul from negative thoughts and uh negative memories or uh psychic attacks I would write that all down burn it with the fire right my prayers I pray whatever I want I pray for healing I pray for elevation I pray for uh enhancements or something that somebody I'm just using that as an example but burn it and then put it in the ground that's what this card is telling me to tell you it's telling me to make sure that you're praying every day stop missing those prayers the prayers is your protection psychically um I may get God's telling me to put myself out here again so <laughs> I'm a human right well we are spiritual beings we are more than humans but what I'm saying is even me being a speaker and show, telling you guys, giving you guys information, I can still fall short. Who am I? I'm still here. I can understand if I was outside of this body, but I'm inside. So what I'm saying is uh, today, and this is like the that story or that verse or that message with the difference in the Bible. And it's just saying how you started your day without prayer and your, your life was just chaotic. Your day was chaotic or it was just everywhere. You just couldn't you couldn't complete your task throughout the day right and I realized oh my god I got so irritated at my little brother today and I'm like wait a minute I haven't even prayed like early earlier like I didn't even pray why did I and that's why that was able to get under my skin so I had to recollect myself cleanse my energy take that shower pray in that shower and ground my energy because you can pray all you want yesterday right i prayed so good yesterday but what about today what about tomorrow what about next week what about next month what about next year what about 10 years from now you need to stay prayed up pray 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 repeat that prayer multiple times a day and that's what i did and i always do that but it was just today was just a the devil was just trying to find his way to slip in right and throw my energy field off and I was all positive for this whole month and it was just today that just made me a little bit it just got under my skin right and no I had to pray and I feel great I feel so amazing like I really do so prayer is really going to help you don't forget the prayers especially when you get in that high position because you get to getting all big headed and everything then you guy had to knock you down a couple steps because you like hold up you ain't even pray you ain't even talk to me today like i talked to god but it's like i want to pray that protection over my life over my day over my mind okay tea leaves and foresight so it's like with this activation with this initiation you're going to be able to foresee the future you're going to be able to see and predict people's lives you're going to be able to tell them and lead them down a different path god's going to give you like that download to tell somebody something like hey don't go that that way hey don't leave or you might want to double check or plan ahead make sure like if you're traveling on vacation if you're going to travel to a different state and you're going to a hotel which hotels order it plan ahead uh and like even restaurants make sure you look at the restaurants you want to go to before you even get in that city that state or if you're hearing somebody talking about traveling make sure that they have everything in line is what i'm hearing but um you have the ability to see your future like literally by meditation talking to your ascended masters your past and loved ones to ask them show me such visions of my future i want to see my future i want to know my direction where i'm going you're going to be able to see where you need to go right instead of just walking and just hoping that you don't make a mistake you're going to be able to see and know and walk with confidence so with this tarot it's like i'm speaking to a tarot reader or somebody who can who can read tarot right and you're just talking to me you're just listening to me for like confirmation or something but it's like you can buy you a deck of cards is what i'm hearing or create your own deck how i created mine's in the beginning if you don't want to buy cards you just sit there ask god he gonna give you them downloads he gonna tell you like literally um two words i don't want to ever hear is we're done and that's a song lyric right and as i was writing down as i was holding this before it was written it was a blank sheet right and then i heard this this 
So it's like for my little tarot, it's like somebody, this may not have anything to do with you or it may be, but somebody just doesn't want to leave your life. They don't want to hear that you're done. It's going to break them apart. It's going to tear them apart. It's going to make them go downhill because they were so attached to you or codependent to you and your energy. Now, like I said, this could literally not have anything to do with you and what I was just talking about. And I'm just showing you how you can create your own cards and then um, interpret the cards after, right? You're able to interpret messages and like it's like certain people say something, right? They say something to you, but you interpret it a different way because you see deeper within the situation is what I'm hearing. So prosperity lies ahead, okay, with this activation, with this initiation, with these ascended masters, you are able to receive prosperous opportunities, okay? They're going to lead you to certain people who are going to help lift you up, who are going to help finance you. They're going to help uh, show you love. They're, it's just like everywhere you go, you're going to, people are going to show you love. They're going to recognize you because you've been recognized by the spirit, by the ascended masters. You have been recommended. So now people are going to look at you with this, oh, it's like a Taurus and it's like your head is strong. You're determined and you won't stop until you get where you need to be. It's like nobody can beat you down. Like, um, you're very confident in you're going to make it is what I'm hearing. Whatever you stop letting those thought those thoughts and doubts and um what is it called? Stop letting them now I'm picturing uh taint your spirit, okay? Don't let those thoughts taint the spirit um in you. But without what I was picturing was a cup and it was clear and then um I'm seeing somebody put ink in the cup and now it's all black and dirty, right? Don't let those thoughts or those doubts in your head taint your spirit and taint your determination or taint your, um, what is it called? Taint your, okay, sorry. I don't know what, it, it's, it's a certain word that I was trying to say taint your you know how somebody like wants to go towards something and then somebody says something about it and it just makes them not as enthused to go or to do it anymore i don't know what i'm trying to say but that's what i mean by it like don't let it kill your your spirit don't let it kill your drive is what i'm hearing but yes that's what i'm here for you guys today i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video peace